New research gives a look at how easily COVID-19 spread on flights before safety changes were made on board. Details from the Centers for Disease Control profile new studies investigating clusters of cases on long flights at the beginning of the pandemic. One study found a single symptomatic passenger likely infected 16 other people while they flew from London to Hanoi. Another study found a couple who had COVID-19 and boarded a flight from Boston to Hong Kong before showing symptoms likely passed it along to two flight attendants while in the air. Since these flights, though, airlines have, of course, made major changes, increasing sanitization, enforcing mask policies, and changing boarding procedures and more. Some companies are still capping flight occupancy, which wasn't much an issue when airports were nearly empty for months. But now, travel is picking up, and that's certainly true at Orlando International. Today, it's very busy. I mean, not busy like in old days, you know, a year ago, but uh, today I see a lot of busyness. Earlier this month, airport officials began monitoring some of the biggest travel increases here since the pandemic began, with weekend travel days exceeding 20,000 passengers consistently. I'm actually okay with it because I kind of want the economy to get back going. Some travelers tell us despite concerns, they're glad to see people moving again so long as they follow the rules. As long as everybody's wearing their mask and being safe, I mean, we still have to go places. From Orlando, Matt LaPoli, West 2 News.